Hi there. Previously, we introduced transformation geometry as looking at the movement of shapes. In this video, we are going to focus on movement as only translations. So how things move left and right or up and down. So we are going to first start by looking left and right. And then after that, we will look at vertical translations up and down. So let's get started. If you remember, transformation geometry is a section of maths like algebra or Euclidean geometry. And we're still focusing on the introduction so that we can learn further transformation geometry and apply this work to graphs. In horizontal translations, let's have a look at moving a shape on a coordinate plane. And in this case, we're going to move our shape ABCD seven units to the right. So the whole shape must move seven units to the right. How will we do this? The easiest way is to move point by point. So take point A and move it seven units to the right. We call it A dash or the image of A because it is no longer A but A at a new point. If you have a look at A's coordinates, the X value has increased by seven while the Y value has stayed the same. Let's move point B, 7 units to the right. Notice again, the X value has increased by 7, but the Y value has stayed the same. Will that happen with point C and D? We now have our new shape, A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, which has moved 7 units to the right, or translated 7 units horizontally. If we were to move any point in general, 7 units to the right, could you tell me what its coordinate would become? If it was the point x, y, it would become x plus 7 and y. And so, horizontal translations we can now summarize as a general format x plus something to the right or x minus something if it was moved to the left. And we don't know what the something is, so I'm calling it a x plus or minus a, but the y value stays the same in a horizontal translation. If we look at vertical translations next, and we look at the shape a, b, c, d, and we want to move the shape four units down, again, start by moving a point at a time. a would move four units down, and have a look at its coordinates. The x value would stay the same, but the y value would change by decreasing by four. The same would happen with your B coordinates, and your C coordinates, and your D coordinates. Each of them, the X values are staying the same because we are not moving horizontally but vertically, and the Y values are changing by decreasing, decreasing by 4, to get your new shape, which has translated 4 units down. Can you tell me the general pattern for translating four units down? If it was a point x, y, x would stay the same, but y would decrease by four. And so in general, if it was any number of units, maybe b, up or down, x would stay the same, but y would increase or decrease by that number of units. Well, time for combination translations. We're moving 3 units to the left and 5 units up, and we're going to take the line AB and perform these translations on this line. Start again with one point, and let's first move everything 3 units left. So we'll move A 3 units left and B 3 units left, and we'll get our new shape. A has moved 3 units left, and B has moved 3 units left. Now let's move 5 units up. So A will move 5 units up and B will move 5 units up. We've moved from A to A dash to A double dash. From B to B dash to B double dash to get our new line. Our new line has moved from the image coordinates 5 units up. From the image coordinates 5 units up. Can you provide the general pattern for this? Well, Left is the x value that has been affected, back 3 minus 3, and the y has, is the up, 5 up. So at point x, y would become minus 3 and plus 5. Let's summarize. We've looked left and right and up and down, and x changes left and right, y changes up and down. Thanks for listening.